Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. We got a free pick coming up in just a moment, plus another thumbnail sketch in the NFL. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account, trial run over at DocSports.com. Com. Get yourself started by clicking on the link below the video. Uh, we've got something to talk about for Tuesday. Before I get to that, a real quick note. Last night, we had one premium pick that was in Major League Baseball, and unfortunately, a six-star play lost on the Houston Astros as they fell a run short, losing 3-2 to the Cincinnati Reds. Still 4-1 over the last week plus now with our last five elite-level plays in baseball, up $1,700 for those wagering $100 per unit, but a tough loss yesterday today is the Astro Bats were just held in check. It's as simple as that. No excuses. We'll look to get right back on track and in the win column uh, with a rare multiple play package. Now we'll have multi plays as in two plays uh, quite a bit of time over at DocSports.com and Major League Baseball, but I've got four diamond sides, four baseball sides on Tuesday. Really like the card. All four plays available on Tuesday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. We'll look to go 4-0. Oh. We'll look to sweep. We've been hot for the most part. Uh, with those top plays, as I mentioned, in baseball. And now we'll look for the 4-0 Tuesday. Get right back in the win column over at DocSports.com. Yesterday, nothing going on in the WNBA. We'll be right back with a Tuesday night knockout in WNBA play. And again, just like baseball, that play in the WNBA will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Don't forget about those plays. Also, a quick note, our UFC plays for this week after taking last weekend off will be available late Friday night for Saturday. Saturday's card PGA matchups will be available Wednesday morning at 11:30 a.m. Eastern for this upcoming week's tournament in the PGA. We'll have our matchups ready on Wednesday morning. More about that on Wednesday's report. That's everything that's going on for me over at DocSports.com. Don't miss out on a four-play, what we like to call Grand Slam. It's rare when we have four sides in one day in Major League Baseball. We like to call it a Grand Slam, and we look to go 4-0 on Tuesday. And again, those plays available bright and early on Tuesday morning. Free pick one again yesterday. Now 11 and one with the last 12. We got another free pick coming up in just a moment. First, we want to jump into the thumbnail sketch on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Over under wins total is six and a half as we wrap up the NFC South uh, with Tampa Bay. Listen, I remember back in January, late January, I think it was the 26th of the month in 2003, uh, when they beat the Oakland Raiders and won the Super Bowl. And I remember doing a radio show in the state of Florida over the phone in in July of 2003, about six months later, they were talking about, you know, can they repeat? Can they get back to the Super Bowl, win the NFC Championship and all that good stuff? And I remember on that particular show, and I had some friends in the state of Florida listening who gave me a hard time afterwards, I said, not only do I, I, I believe that they won't make the Super Bowl after last January's win over Oakland, I don't think they'll make the playoffs whatsoever. Man, I took a lot of heat for that. But listen, this team has been a funk ever since. They did not win that particular season. They are 100 and 156. 156 losses and only 100 wins uh, since that winning Super Bowl game over the Oakland Raiders. So since the regular season of 2003, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing 391 football. They've won less than 40% of their football games over the past 16 years heading into this year's 2019-2020 campaign. Do I think they'll be better this year? Do I think they'll get back on track? Well, I'm going to start with the defense for just a second. The defense has been way too too permissive on the scoreboard for most of the last eight seasons. They go in, they get a new defensive coordinator in Todd Bowles. His defenses have not been good the last two or three years. I don't think it's a great hire. I don't know, maybe he gets back on track now that he's in a D.C. position and can focus on stopping opposing offenses without much else to worry about. I don't trust the defensive backfield. Arians says they're ready to go, that the issues on the defensive backfield have been fixed. I'll believe it when I see it. Then you got the opposite side of the football. Who's going to run the football? I mean, really, you got what, Ronald who's going to run the football? 
football, that's it. Ronald Jones, uh, as far as the receiving core, I do like it. Maybe Jameis Winston completing 65% of his passes last year. Maybe he continues to improve on those numbers. But again, for me, Jameis Winston, too inconsistent of a quarterback for me to put my trust in, and even though he's got decent receivers. Under Arians, they're not going to throw the ball a lot to the tight end, even though they've got a really good tight end to throw it to. So listen, the bottom line is this for me. I don't think Tampa Bay is going to be that hot this year, folks. I'm sorry to say that for Tampa Bay Buccaneer fans, but I look at this from a betting perspective. That over-under win total is six and a half. You mix everything I just said in with the fact that the schedule is not all too easy, and they're going to have a tough time, guys. Listen, that schedule, when I look at it, you can go check it out. I think they start 3-3 three and three through the first six games, but even if they start 3-3, three and three, I've got them winning a total of five games, six at best. I think this team plays under six and a half wins this year by the end of the season, and they are an official play for us. So Tampa Bay, under six and a half wins, and that wraps up our NFC South thumbnail sketches. We have one more division to go, which will be the NFC West. We'll start on that tomorrow with the Arizona Cardinals. And then after this is all done and completed, we'll do one more NFL report where we'll talk about all the teams that made our over-under betting card. We'll talk about all that, oh, in the next oh, 10 days or so. All right, that's going to do it for the NFC South. Again, tomorrow we start the NFC West with Arizona. Before I get to the free pick, a real quick note again. We have four Major League Baseball sides. First time this season we've had four sides on the same day on the same card, all available Tuesday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, along with our WNBA Tuesday night knockout. Go grab all five plays on Tuesday. We'll look to sweep the board. Let's get to our free pick. We look to stay red hot. We're looking to go to 12 and 1 with our last 13 free picks on these videos. And the contest that I'm going to look at in this particular uh, matchup is going to be the D-backs hosting the Rockies. And I'm checking it out right now just to make sure, but the D-backs about a buck 45 favorite in most spots at home. You got Merrill Kelly taking on Antonio Sensatella. And the thing about Kelly, listen, he's been outstanding. I love the fact that he's got 35 punch outs and only four walks in 38 and a third innings pitch. Listen, Colorado's coming off that ridiculously crazy high scoring offensive battle in that series with the San Diego Padres. But they that was all at Coors Field. They're averaging less than four runs per game, guys, on the road of the situation they're in tonight. Under four runs per game in their last six on the road. Sensatella's better on the road at Coors, but that's not saying a whole lot because his road ERA is a hefty 4.70. So it's not like he's sizzling 390 or 380 on the road and struggling at Coors. He's 470 on the road. He's actually uh, just not doing that well with an ERA of close to five. He walks too many peoples from uh, too many peoples. He walks too many people, too many batters for my particular taste. And if you've been following me on these videos or on my premium picks or been watching me on TV and with my picks and on radio for the last 25 years, you know how much credence I put into walks per nine innings pitch, that particular ratio. And Sensatella is not good in that specific category. I think Arizona gets to him. I think he struggles again. We're going to back Arizona right now as I speak. The line's around minus $1.45. So we'll look to stay red hot with these uh, free picks and we'll take Arizona minus a buck 45 over Colorado on Tuesday's Diamond Slate. All right, that's going to do it for us. Don't forget about that free $60 account. Click on the link below the video to get started on that. If you do like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up key and be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprintz or DocSports.com. You know the drill. Let's put Tuesday in the win column right back here Wednesday morning with our next report.